I remember when I was really little, I, was, I would get so nervous that uh, I would tell my mom, I can't stand on the balance beam, I'm too scared. <laughs> and my legs would be shaking, my hands would be shaking, and I remember shaking on the balance beam isn't a good idea, we only have four <laughs> inches to work with. So um, I remember her telling me, well, no, you know, it's okay to feel afraid, but at the same time, like, look at the beam as, as yours, you know, next time you go to compete, grab whichever event it is that you're on and say you're mine and claim it. You know, courage isn't just saying that you're not afraid to do something. It's not going up there and being like, I'm not afraid and I'm gonna go do it. It's the fact that you are afraid and that you're terrified, but you do it anyways, yeah. because you understand uh, how that can help you in the future. And so I think like for me, like one of my situations, all the, the injuries that I had on the two skills that I did it on, I was petrified to try them again. But they told me that if I didn't have those skills, like it would have been very hard for me to make the team. And so I had to get those skills back and I ended up competing them at the Olympics. But that's just me. There are so many, so many other athletes, not just in gymnastics, but in other sports who go through the same thing. And I, I commend them because that is extremely courageous of them to be afraid and to do it anyways.